Welcome to Origami Frog Olympics. This is your host, Teen Slash Outreach Services Manager Liz Strauss, coming to you from the Doe Republic Library. The opening ceremony will begin shortly, but first let's have a look at how these amazing frogs get in shape for the Olympic Games. These instructions are available in the craft kits at the Doe Republic Library curbside pickup table. It's a no contact service table so you can pick up your kits with three pieces of origami paper and instructions to create your own origami frog Olympians. Our Olympian frogs have gone through intensive training. See, they have worked hard to get in shape. Here we can see our Olympian Konami getting in shape for this year's games. Very carefully, she's folding for the gold. Now we're back with our opening ceremonies. And here we have Brad Berry carrying the torch. This is a special honor for the Origami Frog Olympics. Our first event is the high jump. And first up we have Brad Berry. Next is Collins. The very good jump. There's Jay Green with another nice jump. Looks like a seven. And Twain. Not the best jump at 6.5, but points for style. Next we have the long jump. We hear our frogs jumping from the start line. Ooh, you hate to see that. Bradbury, the torchbearer, in last place. And who's the winner? We have Twain in the lead. Twain will go for the, go home with the gold for the long jump. Next we have the one meter race, or as close to a meter as you can get race. We have Jay Green starting us off with a very good, good round. Konami. this event we are doing trials and there's Colin sliding in sliding into the finish and here's Twain K 
can he do can he make another gold oh and it's Bradbury with four seconds with the gold medal for the one meter race next we have an agility course and while Jay Green is working on this, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. This agility course it features five lily pads and one log. To complete the agility course, our frogs must jump onto a platform and not land in the blue. That is the water. That is a splash. After each trial, we will count how many jumps it has taken each of our frogs to complete the agility course. Our frog scores will be determined by how many jumps it took to get them from the beginning of course to the end. If they land in the water, they have to start over. Their penalty shots count in their final score. So in this instance, a lower score is better. Quickly running through the other contenders for the agility course. And here we have the final scores. Twain with two jumps. Konami with two jumps. Jay Green, 9, Bradbury, 12, and Collins, a 19. Now if you're watching this at home, you can play along by making your own events, train up your origami frogs, and go for the gold. See what you guys can come up with, submit your ideas, and let us know if you had fun today. Our gold medal MVP was Twain with two gold medals. Congratulations, Twain. And this has been the Origami Jumping Frog Olympics. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week with a new video. Have a great day.